Hi there, it's Valerie Hall Little, the business architect. Let's talk about money, 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 money. As a business owner, we love to make money. We just don't really always like to talk about money. Do you know what I mean? It comes up in sales conversations when you're talking about the prices of your services. Uh, it might also come up when somebody is late in paying an invoice and you are hesitant to send a reminder. Uh, and it may even come up that you start working with somebody before they even pay you. So let's kind of switch this around and let's change that and make money something that isn't a four letter word anymore in your business. And to do that, you need a few people on your money team. And those three people, first and foremost, is the accountant. So you might already have an accountant who might prepare your year end and uh, you might only talk to that person once a year. But an accountant is a key person to have on your team and to have those conversations when you have questions. For instance, you might have tax questions throughout the year or um, submitting taxes. It's usually around tax that we talk to our accountants about throughout the year. Um, but let's make sure that you have a really good relationship and trusting relationship with your accountant. The second key person on your money team is your bookkeeper. And here's a secret that I tell my clients, the bookkeeper is not you. Exactly. The first person that you are going to hire in your business is a bookkeeper. Even if you have a bookkeeping business, you are not going to be doing your own bookkeeping in your business. Though that's very detail-oriented work, requires expertise, and that will not be you. I made that huge mistake for years in my business. I wore the bookkeeping hat and it was a nightmare, a nightmare for me. The best day was when I hired my bookkeeper. And the third person on your money team is your CFO, your Chief Financial Officer. And that key person oversees everything. That key person, at a glance, can see the financial health of your company. And here's another big secret. The CFO of your business is you. That's right, you are the CFO of your business and you keep an eye on what is going on in your business until you get so big that that position needs to be um, hired out as well. But up until a certain point in your business, you keep an eye on your financial health of the business, you run profit and loss reports, you look at um, your accounts receivable, and you keep an eye on that balance sheet. So your balance sheet doesn't only come at year end. Those are the three key people you need to have on your money team. Your accountant, your bookkeeper, and your CFO. Your next action step is to recruit and fill those positions. Let me know how you did in the comments below. I'd love to hear about your successes. So that's your next action step in designing a business that is built to soar. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.